Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, home of menswear and styling. My name is Tulu and today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to wear smart ankle pants from Uniqlo. So I got a few different colors here. I'm actually wearing the brown pair right now. I just filmed the video on how to wear the brown. Um, we got the olive, we got the navy, and we got the white. These are essential colors for all seasons. Right now we're in the spring and summer, so I'm gonna show you guys how to wear chinos in a few unique styles that you guys can pick up from this video. At the same time, you guys can expand on my own style, also elevating your style to the next level. So if that sounds good to you, let's begin this video. If you guys are new to this channel, let us know in the comment section down below of what part of the world you guys are coming from. At the same time, what fit fits you best. I just want to mention guys that currently we are at 10k subscribers and that is amazing and I want to go for 50k by the end of this year. I'm being, I'm being, um, you know, I'm being, uh, I forgot the word, but <laughs> you know, I'm shooting for the stars here guys. So I want to go for 50k this year. I want to get there and thanks to you guys for liking the videos, subscribing, also sharing the content. It makes a big difference within these videos and lets me know that you guys want to see more of these type of videos as well. So yeah, from me to you, thank you guys so much. All right, so let's begin this first look. Sorry for the long intro, but I appreciate it, your time. Uh, so this first look is uh, super simple for me. I like this look a lot. Um, anytime it comes down to smart casual pants, the way to wear it, it makes you look also mature, but uh, put together. And I think a lot of you guys can implement this into your wardrobe. Uh, this with this look, I would actually add a belt. Um, I just wanted to mention as well, the sweater is by Uniqlo, um, white t-shirt and obviously the uh, Uniqlo pants. And those are Zara shoes, if anyone was wondering specifically. But this look is a nice, simple look. It's mature with the glasses. It makes it look fire put together and um, you look older beyond your years. All right, so going into the second look with uh, the navy pants, something very, very similar. Um, the only thing I did change was the top and that, tub, that top was from um, Club Monaco. It's a very simple top. Um, it has two pockets on the left and right hand side very 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 light and this is actually really nice in the spring because it does get windy and does it is a little chilly so having something like that is great for layering if you don't want to wear too much um, I'm gonna make a video specifically talking about tank tops because when it does get cold tank tops do come in handy because um, the fabric is close to your skin right um, what this look right now is you guys see the glasses is like the bread and butter to this. I think glasses implement the whole look a lot more. Um, accessories obviously. And one thing I like about this look as well, which I changed up was the shoes. So those shoes uh, you just saw in the clip, if I can get it back, it will. Those are from New Balance. Um, and those are my favorite pair of shoes. I'll put the link for that down in, in the description box. Um, but yeah, I like those shoes a lot. Anything that kind of implements a lot of color within my footwear I usually apply that um, into my routine it just has a nice look aesthetically to the eye and it just makes the whole outfit look jumping so try this out let me know how you let me know what you think about it and um, yeah give me your feedback all right so for this next look right here it's kind of more of a green theme um, obviously highlighting the green smart pair of pants as well um, I went on I went with the green on green with the white uh, shirt very simple obviously the color is not as close as it I want it to be but that's totally fine I think having an offset color is is appropriate um, the highlight of the watch sorry for the background noise balcony is open but for the background I'm sorry for the whole look aesthetically it looks pleasing and um, this is something that you guys should actually try. That top is actually from George. Uh, you guys can check them out online. It's very, very light. It's kind of like a satin color, not satin color, but satin texture to it. And um, yeah, I'm just having a little fun listening to Afro beats. But the detailing of the shirt is amazing. It's nice. I do like it. And uh, apply this into your wardrobe. Having an all green look is quite fire. And um, jumping into the second look with the green pair of pants, uh, I actually changed it out with that Uniqlo top that you guys saw a bit earlier. 
and even just changing the pair of smart pants can make your whole outfit look good as well so as you guys can see it's a bit it has the off-tone contrast there which is nice uh, at the same time it's minimal and the whole look will look good because there's certain colors in your wardrobe that will always look uh, good so that those are colors I essentially wear in my wardrobe all the time that's the the blues the whites um, the greens the navies those type of colors those neutral tone colors are key so if you want to elevate your game get those colors in your wardrobe so just to show you a little more detail of a little bit close up what it looks like buttoned up as well um, it just makes it look good as well so also you can add glasses into your routine too I believe I put on a pair of glasses. If I didn't, I can highlight that into the next video. But having a simple pair of glasses uh, is always good. Shades, obviously. And also changing up the shoes. Changing up the shoes is super important. It adds a smart look to the finish of the whole look. So I went with the brown toned uh, suede shoes here. And uh, not suede, sorry, it's the lever shoes. So um, penny loafers. So they're very simple. I do like them a lot. I think I'm trying to go for like a black and white one next. I know Ame Leon Door had something like that. Um, until I can, until that's in my price range, uh, that's something I'll shoot for down the road. But all in all, this is a smart casual uh, look. If you guys like this one, let me know and what you'll change about it if you don't. But uh, yeah, this is that look that you guys can rock and elevate. All right, so for this first look, I wanted to go for something that was a little more uh, casual, but at the same time, obviously with the pants, it added a little more street element, so that's why I had the vintage t-shirt. And something that really li I like about this outfit is that the socks, it has a great complement to the socks as uh, the two tonality of the colors. As you guys can see, they had the vintage tee up close, and you guys can see the detail. Uh, this t-shirt is uh, quite old. <laughs> I found it a vintage spot, but uh, it just goes so well. Faded logo, uh, I honestly don't care. But the style altogether looks really good. It looks very clean. As you guys can see, it does have like a little bit of like a, a bleach stain, but that's just a part of the vintage interior, right? Um, I guess what like pieces. But anyways, uh, either the, other than that, the whole look is very fresh. I do like this look a lot. Uh, this is probably easily my top five uh, favorite looks as of this year. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know your thoughts on the pieces, what you would change about it, what you'll add. Let me know if you actually purchased the pair of pants from Uniqlo because these pants are fire and I definitely advise you guys to check it out. All right, so for the next outfit, I wanted to go for something that was a little more relaxed. As you guys can see, you got the cozy sweater on top from Uniqlo. And uh, it, with these pair of pants, it just has a nice, nice warmth to it, obviously because of the color tone. But at the same time, it's very, very comfortable. It's something that you can just wear if you're going out for lunch or whatnot, if you don't want to wear a jacket or kind of like a, a vest. But this is just super cozy. This is a great fit to apply if you guys are going out to the grocery store. But as you guys know from the fleece jackets before, one of my top favorite things at Uniqlo for the fall winter is having a fleece jacket like this, and it's super warm. They're, they're the best thing ever. But uh, regarding this fit, I just wanted to go with something that's a little more uh, clean. At the same time, warmth, warmth was very important for me. So that's why I applied that um, sweater on top of this look, uh, the fleece on top of this look. And let me know what you guys' thoughts on this look, I do like this look a lot, how it puts together, how it's too like, like cohesive as well. And um, with the CDGs at the bottom there. So yeah, that is that. <clears throat> All right, so going into the second look, uh, this is actually very, very important because if you want something that's a little more clean at the same time, a little more uh, professional, you can go for a long sleeve striped shirt as well. Light tone color, obviously because of the season, but having the butt, first button open, it gives you a little more relaxed look and a little more comfortable. At the same time, you can always adjust it with the sleeves as well. But this goes so well with the white pairs of pants. It tends, it tends to be that any light color that goes with 
with obviously a, a white base is it goes hand in hand it has this like synchronicity so um, this whole look is just the exact same thing as before but i changed the long sleeve to the long shirt and it just looks well it looks proper and this is just another like example you guys can go for so for this look uh this look is a lot more lighter than before uh, so if you do have like a light t-shirt that stripes, it's the perfect outfit for you, or you can just purchase one. Uh, this t-shirt is actually from Cotton. This is a Canadian brand out here in Toronto. Uh, love their company. But other than that, I have that cotton t-shirt and then I have the white pants, smart ankle pants from Uniqlo. Uh, very, very light look. Uh, it's great. Some, to wear something like this is really great because you can always throw something on. Uh, if you have like a jacket during the evening or for example, actually, I want to go into this jacket so you guys can see, but just having a sweater can make all the difference. So if you guys like that video of how I styled smart, so if you guys like that video of how I styled smart chinos from Uniqlo, let us know in the comment section down below of what fit you guys like best and what you'll personally pair it with. Yet again, let us know if you guys want to see more content like this. I would love to do more content in house style. You guys just have to let me know in the feedback section down below. But yet again, guys, thank you guys for watching Arcway, home of menswear and styling. My name is Tulu, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, crew.